So, in ito, follow na na website. It footer, dadagdagan na lang tiya. So, ang unit structure niya, may da kita di di um, header. I think I will just remove this other text. May da kita nav. May da kita pinaka banner. Yeah, content. Three columns. Um, then picture dito. So, let's try this one. In the actual coding na. Okay. So, if you have your own laptop there, your um, anything that the device that you can utilize, just join me coding it up or practice gap at the same time. Okay. So, yung unahin natin gawin ngayon, which, in which it talks about yung sa wine is to look for the picture. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. I need 4 pictures na gagamitan natin. So, usually, naghanap ako ng picture. The, there are two websites na pinupuntahan ko. First is yung pixels.com. These are free photos or images that we can utilize. And then, for the, and also videos, meron din dito. Then, the next, yung other website na pinupuntan ko is yung pixabay.com. So, you can just grab a picture, download a picture here, or videos. This is all free naman. So, I'm looking for wines. So, yun, maraming wines dito. Oh, marin mo pa na wine. And then, let's try this one. Um, click mo lang yung download. Download. Okay, then next, kuha pa tayo ng ibang picture. I need four pictures. Ano pa? Add na lang. Last one more. You hear me the frog. Kawin natin siyang pambanner. Okay. Okay, I already have the downloaded files. So um Okay, so last time gumawa ko ng website, no? So dito ko pa rin ilalagay. Try to organize them up lang. Ilalagay ko sa assets. And then yung images. Images. At ilagay ko dito. Um, palitan ko lang yung name. Gawin ko tong banner. Ito, sabi natin image 1. Ito naman image 2. Ito naman image 3. So, ito, I think, let me just scrap this one. Mm, okay. Okay, so I'm going to make a CSS folder where in I'm going to store my files in this folder. Okay, so let me open yung 
directory. So, ito na. Naka-open na pala. Nandito na yung mga files ko. And then, next is gagawa ko ng file. I'm going to save it as myindex.html which is my home page. And then, of course, I'm going to put a code. Yan. So, lagay ko na ito, my first website. And then, ano natin isource yung CSS? I'm going to use yung link, real stash CSS. And then, it is located under the assets folder. Ah, hindi pa pala gumawa ng files. So, minsan, gagawin, gagawa muna ako ng CSS file. Uh, maglagay muna ako ng sample content. Just for mabasa siya ng content. So, save ko siya as style.css. Yan, nandito na. So, I need to source that one. So, I need to go to the assets muna. And then, under the assets, nandun yung CSS. And then, yung style.css. So, to make sure that that particular... Um, yung pag-source natin is tama, let's try to run the website. And view, view per source tayo, yung right-click, view paid source, and then, yung lit. Click lang natin to. So, makita natin yung laman or ng code natin dito. Therefore, um, tama yung pag-source natin. But, kung yung ma uh, lumabas is parang katulad nito, then therefore, mali yung source yung pag-source natin sa file, o di kaya mali yung spelling ng file natin nilagay natin. Okay. Okay, okay. So, let's try to check out yung sample. So, meron tayong header. Then, sa loob ng header, mayroong nav. Then, dito na yung main content. Then, sa baba, maglalagay na lang tayo ng footer. So, let's start muna sa mga minimal codes. So, dito natin ilalagay. So, magagawa ko ng, gagamitin ko yung header, ay yung div, as the main container. So, sabihin natin container. And then, within that um, container, mayroon tayong header, yung kanina. And after the header, meron naman tayong nav as for the navigation menu. Then, another div. Sabihin natin, this is the main container or main content. Main content. Then, sa main, after that, lagay din tayo ng footer. Although, hindi siya makita sa picture. Ito. Then, after that, dito sa header, lalagay tayo ng mga, tawag muna, um, i-bigyan muna natin ng design, yung mga yung layout natin. So, since we already have the CSS, okay, so, let me start with the container. Container dot, then container class, and then I want to put a 1,200 pixels as the maximum read. I'm going to put a background color of red, and gusto ko na rin maglagay lang muna ng minimum height of 500 pixels. And then, I want it to be center using the margin 0 auto, since this is um, a container. So, by the way, I'm using a na, yung float property to make a website. Not the flex box. Okay. Yun. That's the original size. Okay. Nakikita pa niyo? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. 
So next is pag kwan la ito ha, red palat yan na kay para ma-identify largo kwan. Makikita ba natin output largo? So later on, i-change natin ito ng mga color. So header. Header is pupunta ng lana kita yung color. Gusto ko 100%, kaya mo tatrid to. Background color niya, sabihin nating blue. Then height, hmm, let's say 100. Then, di mo ya kailangan yung margin zero. Then, yung next is yung nav. Gawin ko siyang green. Hmm, yung minimum height ng nav, let's say 30. Ah, maliit yan. 50. The next is yung main content. You can, yung main content, hindi yan required na ganun yung sendan niya. You can name it whatever you want. Then yellow, dito. Then minimum height, say 500. Ah, 3,400 na lang. Yung footer, halos the same sa nab. Hmm, kopya tayo nito. Blue, green, pa. Uh, ano pati ba na color? Buyulit. Buyulit. So, let's try to refresh. So, yun. May the next one. Mga layout tingguti. So, nakuha na natin mga sudsugad niya. Next is, let's go to the inside the main content. So, there are three columns, or three rows rin. First row, Second row, third row. So, nahin muna natin doon. So, I think we can specify a class of row since we're um, just to identify na row siya. Okay. So, next is... I want to specify yung column nila. So I want to make a div. So I want to put a class of sabihin tayong one column lang siya. Then dito, it has three columns. So tatlo yung ilalagay ko dito. Then for the one may dalawang column so for the first column it specifies yung dito one column lang naman yo for those na may three columns ito yung three columns then for the third co rows second column or two columns lang okay so nag gumawa lang ako ng mga container to identify yung mga columns nila. Kasi dyan natin ilalagay yung content later on. Sa main content, mayroon tayong row. So, yung row na to, I think let's, dito na lang. Sa lang naman yung main content. Um, meron siyang 100%. And sabi natin my background color of um, blue. And maglagay lang muna ako ng margin bottom of 1 pixels. Let's see. Kulang. Hmm, maglagay rin ako ng minimum height pala. Height of I know need no need for the I sorry no need no need for the row you height natin will be no need for the color sorry I just wanted to make na full width siya you specify natin yung height dito sa column so call one Mag-iba mag na ako ni style din. He did to 
first sige na first session ka na aga para magamit din row and column so 100% we have since column one column man lang ya dito let's try to specify yung mean height let's say meron siyang 100 pixels minimum height and then lagay na lang natin yung kulay of sabi natin yung red and then I think let's put a margin bottom for the meantime let's refresh yun that is the full width para dito and then for the second for the two columns um, we're going to divide to I don't know. I'll read mo muna. 3 pa lang yung 3. 3 muna. Para ma... Sunod-sunod pa. Um, let's say red then Column. So, ilan lang ilalagay ko dito? It should be 50%. Ay, mali. 50% kasi 3 columns. So, what do you think guys? Ilang percentage ng width yung ilalagay natin? 100% divided by 3. Hello? Can you answer my question, please? 100% divided by 3? 33%. 99 lang daw to. It will be 33.33333333333%. Yun! Galing. <laughs> So, kung yun ang ilalagay natin, um, what there yan magiging accurate good? Bayan mag-save kita. Itihim mo unta, masing kita. May da, may da kasi function hack CSS nga calc. Which means calculation. So, 100% pwede ang fraction na sinisiring ng kabagang fraction na matkabotang ini. Eh. Pero ayot one third. In this way, we divide na ito ng 100%. So let's try to check. Kung tuod good matakin si Niniyakan. Yun! Tuod na divide. Pero adi obus. So paano na ito nini so solve? We're going to solve this by implementing yung float property. Let's try muna yung float left. So yun. Para yung nakakitian, spacing. So, since they're in identify and spacing, let's try to put some outline. So, yung outline, it will not add to the totality of the width. Not like with the border and um, padding. Later on, I'm going to show you kung lang takibig sabihin nito na it will add to the totality of the width of the element. So, dito, ganun lang muna. So, read and let me put some color. Let's say white na lang. Ibaga, di naman kinikaan. So, yun. Three columns. Nakikitan ba yung white? Yes, sir. <laughs> Good job. Yes, sir. Hi, may maling kita yung iba na color. Black Pwede man black, sir. Kira, try ta. So, go to gap, sir. Nakikita ko. Okay, papadak mo lang ako na latiya ko. And, ito. Yes, okay na, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, ito. Nakakuan lang. Pagkita na ba na maklaro natin ang layout niya? Okay, so, may tanakitan first column of first part of our design, which is this one. Then, ano kadua, awan kadua ng row, which composed of three columns. And then, ano katulo, madalang niya two columns. So, tignan mo kita. Copy. Muntain na two. Palungin na ito nag... Ah, sige, red lang ay. Left, we have outline for 
Tapos, mean height. So, instead na 3, balyan tanto. Then, refresh. So, yun. Medyan nakita column. Okay, na may space TD. So, the reason why may space TD, it is because yung 400 yung atin min height and minimum height. So, yun. Napansin niyo? Umubos. An koan an footer na bukan sumaka. So we need to make sure that all of our element in the mga container should have a float element. So let me try mo na din na part. Kung sometimes kasi pwede ka pa di. Dari man yung mas ko, okay. But most of the time, I, especially kun, so when, naka-float in eh, sample lang, naman, an footer na wara. So to make the footer parang go with the flow, hindi ba na element, we need to put as well a float property. So in that case, para dari magkamay dagat ang problema, ibalawat na element na container, let's try to put a um, float property as well. So, yun. so, if we're trying to zoom out this one and zoom in, diri man yan nag, naguguba. But, sa ngayon, diri yan mobile responsive. Kasi, if we try to resize this one, it doesn't change or adapt the size. Kasi, wala pa tayo sa topic na yun. But if we go to the topic, it will be discussed on this part, the topic. This, we're going to make the website or a website mobile responsive. I don't know, previous. Okay, so next step na gagawin natin ngayon is to set some content. Ay, may kulang, anay. May napapansin. Kung di ba mapapansin niyo guys, may din niya space nga daan. It is because of the browser. Now, if you want to remove that one, you can just simply put HTML in body to have a margin of 0 pixels and padding of zero pixels. Yan, nawara na. Kasi, um, it mga browser, may danera kalugarin yung style for all elements hit HTML. So, um, it's important for us to know gap ito na side. For example, H1, possibly ibet at font pagdating ha si Firefox, si but font niya ha Edge. So there's a possibility to have that. So now let's start with um, putting the name of or putting the content of our website. Let's start with the header. And yung content niya. Ay lumit. Worldwide wines. Ang bodera ko worldwide. Philippine la, Philippine wine. Pilipin. Tama naman spelling, no? Um, we're going to wrap this with H1 kasi this is our main title of the site. And then, usually, yung nagiging pangalan ng website will be the title here. And lagay natin. Okay, so let's put that yung sa baba. Fine wines ko, no? And good times in the heart of the city. Uy. Heart of 
the city. And nakaitalik siya. So I can place this at M. Singa, aran, ano the output? So, yun, that's the content. Next is dun sa ating menu. Dito sa nav. So lagay ako ng A. So index.html for our home page. Then contact us about us. Contact us. And then about us. Contact and about. yun. Kiri ko ya klaro, pero ada ya. It is there. Tila, nyan. Pabaguhan tayo size. Okay, next is the content for the first row. So, may dahiya um, dito. So, magbutang lang akong additional div. Then, sabihin natin this is content. Tagyan ko lang class nga. Content. Then within that content, I'm going to put an image. So an image, start kita dito in assets. Um, images. And then, banner jpeg jpeg jpg and then i also have the content so let's say sabihin natin article na lang yan and then meron tayo itag then my strong Um, Worldwide Wines is your premier East Coast winery. World Wide. I one word again, sorry. Wines is your premier premier East Coast winery. Yes, post finally. Okay, then for the second paragraph, um, let's do the Lorena Epsom. Shumana. Uy, Shumana. Hindi gumana yung Loren. Baba. Uy. Loren pala, Loren. Tawasan ko lang. So, let's run. Yun, dito yung image. Laki niya ang laki. So, bo, maglagay lang muna ako sa temporary style using the in line and I'm going to put a 100% lang muna yun, ang laki talaga ni yung hermit hmm I want to crop this one nai hai, crop ko lang tignan mo mo rayo, hindi ako maniya at ang laki niya Images, crap. Okay, baliwan tadi di in banner to PNG. And let's try to check. Nyan, gurugutina. 
Pero maganda ako lagi ako. Pero okay na ito. Okay, for now, that's okay, I guess. Okay, next is... Is we need to put the content here. So, what we have done here, we can just copy this one and put it here. And let's add more content para dumami ng bahagya. Yan. Then, ano yung image one dito? Image one. JPEG. And then, ano yung content? Wala siyang content dito or yung title. Remove natin. So, copy lang to. Put it here. Palitan natin ng to. Um, palitan natin ng 3. Okay, 1, 2, 3. 5 image nga yun. Nagkikulang man yan na kinkoon. Locks. Pero mukhang mag-sinkers na kulang nga yun na kimish na kin-download. Yan. May dinag ito image. Nagsasarang laugaring. So later on, ayos yung title. So I still locking of image. I need to go to Pixabay pa. Drinking wine. Tingin mo pa'y nakuha na. Di lahat kami ito na banner. Tingin mo pa'y matiya ka himwadi. Okay, Nene. I hear met. Uh, Babal yun tayo hear met. Uh, 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 uh. Documents. Uy. Image for. I remove this one. Banner. Manihabal yung pwede banner. Banner.jp Tapos for the column to column Higay ko dito For May the by uh, content Is there any content here? So what I content Tanggal lantai content. Then the next is yang form. Um, let's go to W3 schools. Ki, parang pinata mada aku mag type yang form. Kita lang tayo sa HTML forms. And there's a sample code here. All we need to do is to copy this one. And paste it here. Regarding copying of code, guys, just copy our code if you know what is the code that you're copying. Hindi yung copy lang ng copy without knowing kung ano yung purpose ng code na yan. Ako, since I already know the purpose of this one, kaya I just copy and paste those things. So, meron siyang name, email address, at saka message. Sign up for a weekly tasting event. So, maglagay tayo na. Ah, ilagay rin natin sa content. Tapos, naglagay hiyahin baga um, p-tag, strong. 
sign up uh, for a weekly a weekly tasting event event lang ba yan and then kailangan ng name email address at saka message name so full name nandito name um email so mayroon sinasabing email tag pagdating sa HTML pwede ring text if you want pwede ring email so next is address Okay, mag-usa nga yan email address. Ano ba? Email address sa di email address. Tapos sa di message. So, for the message, we're not going to use the input. What we're going to use for the message is a text area, which is yung text area. Um, then, we're going to put a name. Masanay lang tayo. Lagay ng name. Then, um, I'm going to utilize this one. So, let's try to run this. Ah, wait. Lagay lang ako ng p -tag. So, dito, um, yung copyright. Although, hindi pa siya copyrighted. Copyright, yung at, copy, Tamin natin Raymond. Kung ano mang company actually. So this at, at, I mean, and copy, this is the icon na makikita natin sa footer. Itong at, that is the end copy. So ang lucky part ni Hermit dito. Okay, so kahit paano may content na yung website natin, hindi lang maganda. So, dagdagan ko pa yung content pagdating dito. Maliit masyado. Yan. So, ngayon, sisimulan na, na natin pagandahin yung website. Almost one hour. Saan na yun? Saan na yung model natin? So, let's start with the header. Doon tayo sa size. Header tayo. So, yung background natin is more on black or gray. Dark gray. Hmm. Lahat dark gray except for the navigation bar. So... Therefore, um, for the part of the container, sorry, for the part of the container, we can set the background color for this one. Uh, remove ko tong kulay para makita natin yung kulay ng container. So the color of that is dark. Some Sabi natin ganun. Lagay natin dito. Okay. Then, sa part ng header, space siya sa box. So, gawin natin ng padding of 20 pixels. Then, color text for the meantime is sabi natin white. Refresh. Yan. So, ito, um, merong malayo siya masyado there, sa isa't isa kasi meron silang mga margin. Pati rin sa paragraph, merong mga margin. So, dito, nakadikit lang. So, yun ang gagawin natin. 
So for the header, H1, at saka yung P tag, we're going to change its margin. Sabihin natin 1 pixels. Check that out. So yun, nakadikit na kahit pa paano. So, dito naman sa header, we're just going to give it a minimum of 50 pixels, minimum height, para tumaas siya ng bahagya. And then, if you want to change the font color ng H1, sabihin natin yellow naman siya. Yellow. So, tingnan natin ano yung tura nun. So, yellow. Ikaw natin siya na color, pero suwad lang na yellow. Okay. Um, next is, let's try to manipulate yung nab. So, if we're going to remove the color of the nab, yung kulay niya, ganun. So, hindi natin nire remove Kasi dito, parang lighter color siya sa nav. So, let's miss start with the A muna. A, yung anchor, yung link. I would like to put a color of white by default. Gusto kong i-text transform. This will make yung text niya uppercase lahat, although hindi naka-uppercase currently. And then, I want to remove that underline using the text decoration, none. And then, I want to make it bold using the font weight. Let's try that one. So, yun. So, yung gusto kong font family niya is Arial. Ah, gawin natin yung pag-style dito para madali. So, font family, yes, I want it Arial, yan, and then, yung gusto ko, yung padding niya, is, sabi natin, 15 pixels, then 20 left, right, and then, I'm going to, Make it this inline block. You can still remember, guys, yung inline block na discussion natin. Hindi ba ito mas malaki? Sabi natin, 15. Hmm. Tapos, lagyan natin ng float kasi parang may space siya in between. Yan. Dating na natin yung design. Okay. Okay, so let, let's copy this one and put it in here. Yan. Ito naman sa nav, yung kulay green. Um, let me just put a padding on it. Top bottom is zero. Sabihin natin 10 pixels. Okay, and I want to put a border radius. 20 pixels. Pero ba? Border. Border radius. Border radius. Para mag-curve yung mga side niya. Malaki masyado. Too much. Then, I want to change the color into lighter. Sabihin natin ganun lang muna. And then, I want to provide a space sa kanila. Sabihin natin margin. Zero. Sige nga kung magkakaroon ng space. Tingnan natin. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Refresh. Hmm. Lumawas sa di gumawas. 
Okay, um, ngayon, if we didn't want this to be placed outside, let's try to, if it works, yung box sizing, order box. Ganun pa rin. Tumalabas pa rin siya dahil sa margin niya. Okay, so, um, ganito. Kung wala dito, wala dyan, ikita nyo lumalabas. Pero kung may box sizing, hindi siya lumalabas. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, na it add to the totality or width, totality, total width of an element. So, to make sure na hindi mag add yung mga padding, at saka yung border, we, we just need to put yung box sizing for their box. Ngayon, since gusto kong magkaroon ng space dito, yung gagawin natin, dun tayo sa container. Maglalagay tayo ng padding. Ito yung kung ano yung value niya para magkaroon. So, kung mapapansin natin, ganun rin yung nangyari. Tapos, mapapansin natin dito, so, we just need to provide overflow hidden para it will wrap all. Okay, but since na-add pa rin siya sa actual size, then we need to put as well yung box sizing border box. Actually, lahat ng container, kailangan lagyan natin ng ganito to make sure na lahat ng padding na i-add natin will not be accumulated to the total width of an element, particularly referring to the con container. So, dito parang naging malayo siya. Um, gusto kong yung header, um, isiro kong left and right na lang. Yan. Hmm. Hindi. 10 pixels. So, sa taas, malaki. So, yung gagawin natin dyan is yung padding top niya, bawas-bawasan natin. Padding top of 10 pixels. Yan. Okay. So, padlan eh. Next is, we need to push down yung itong container. Para dito. So, doon tayo sa main content. Sa main content, pwede tayong maglagay ng margin. Sabihin natin top pin kita 0, left and right. Push lang siya. And then, sa image, we need to put a border. So, saan ba makita yung image? I'm referring to column 1 na image content. So, sa column 1, mayroong image. And then, gusto kong maglagay ng border. Gawin natin mm, 3 pixels solid of white. Tapos, refresh. Yan. Kung nalili, hmm, nagsobra dito. Titignan nyo. Hmm, let's try to play the box sizing for that one. Kung mag-work. Yan. So, the next is yung pakapalin ko pa. Gusto kong kumapal pa siya yung content dito tas dito so yung naka-center is sa uh, simula lang yung isa hindi hindi so let me put a title of this part si title you can name it whatever you want kaya gusto ko lang kasi identify kung alin yung title at alin yung um, yung description na lang 
Kasi ba yung style na ilalagay natin sa title? So, sa column 1 na ginawa natin, mayroon tayong class na title. Uh, it's supposedly text align center. Tapos, yung font nila, gusto ko lahat Arial na lang. So, all we need to do to implement those things is to put asterisk, which means all, all element, and yung font um, family will be Arial. Yan. Para lahat ng element will be Arial. It's up to you kung design na marami naman tayong designs. Um, gusto ko tong maging white. So, based dito, white and parang white yung dito. Or, okay. So, let's go back to the title yung kanina. I hope you can still catch up with me. <laughs> Palagi ako nag-scroll. Title, then for the description. Actually, hindi siya white yung sa description side. Is, ah, Happy. Hindi siya line center. Actually, kung titingnan natin dito, hindi siya ganong ka-white. So, let's try to fix that one. Parang dirty white something. Yan. Copy this one. Paste. And I'm going to remove the color red dito. Refresh. May may yellow pa. May pat na yellow. Hindi pa ngayon. Yan. So ngayon is there's a space. Pero may the design. Pero space kita gusto. Pwede kita magbutang na lahin instant space with window row, yung HR, yung horizontal rule. Yan. May din na horizontal rule. And that HR, sabihin natin, let's put a design on it of margin, top of 20 pixels per all para, uy, sayo, top lang ngayon. 30 pixels. Mm. Ay, sorry. Um, 40. So, yan. Ito na yung kabuhan. So, next is yung dito. So, yung gagawin lang natin, we can just copy the styles here. So, maglagay lang ako ng description na lang dito. Okay. We're, do we're going to copy the styles that we have implemented here. And also for the image. Para madali. This is column 3. And wala tayong title, pero may description tayo. Refresh. Yun. Kaso, based dito, may spacing tayo. We need to provide spaces. Okay. Um, column 3. Meron siyang content. So, column 3. Doon sa kanyang content. Maglagay ako ng... Sabi natin 15 pixels. Let's try that one. So, yun. So, let's try to remove yung outline nilagay natin and then yung background yun nagkakabuhay na siya 
kahit pa paano. So let's um, put HR here. Instant horizontal line. Next is dito. Ang laki ni Hermit. So same, same process. We can just uh, copy the code. Yung kanina. Dito. Then let's go to the second row. Second column na meron. And of course, yung class. We need to copy the class. Ah, mali. <laughs> image pala image, sorry. It should be image, not the refresh. So, let's try to um Remove a little bit. So, yung content, kasi may space din siya. I want to specify the content. Um, yung anong nilagay ko dito? Margin 15. Yun. And then, I want to remove, ano, mamaya na lang. So, dito, mayroong title. Oops. Strong. Maybe I can copy yung title na style kanina. Yeah. Just to be specific here. Ooh. Then yung Label, I think, if you want na, ito, maglalagay tayo ng isang class, guys, na text white. Yung text white nito, of course, yung kulay ng text is white. Doesn't make sense kung lalagay natin red. So, lalagay natin siya yung class dito. Which is yung class na yan, is nag, mayroon siyang text na white. Yan. Hindi pala white. Yellow. Mali. Yellow. So refresh natin. So yellow. Tapos yung style niya dito is naka-double align. Hmm. This different. So, wag natin i-BR. Wag tayong mag-BR. Okay. Hmm. Di maganda. So, we need to provide a column here as well. So, kung mapapansin nyo guys, there are three columns. Pero, parang o two columns pagdating sa contact information. Pero, wag lang muna. Baka may mura na kong time. I-go one line ko lang na hiya. Then, bubutan ko class for the form input form input and then for those form input form input and your design busagla so Read of 1,000, 1,100%, adding of, sabi natin print tip, hmm, 15 pixels. 
As border is none. Hindi ko lang muna siya i- Run. Okay, kulain. Maraki masyado. Ang gawin natin 10. Then, I would like to put a padding on it. Oh, I mean margin. 10 pixels. Top, bottom. Then, left, right is 0. So, mas maintindihan natin guys ng mga shorthand if mag-discuss kita hin CSS na. And then, for the button, I'm going to put a button. Let's say want to make a class of yung BTN or submit. Mm -hmm. color background color of yellow and then I would like to have a text a padding of 10 then 15 both sides um, border to none Um, ano pa ba? Uh, further reduce to 10 pixels. Tignan natin. Yep. Then, every time I hover on that, gusto ko Magiging cursor here. And then, yung background color, I want it to be, sabi natin, orange. Para a little bit dark. Okay. So, to make it more decent, let's now remove, ah, no. Kulang pa. Yung sa height ng dito na lang so, sa height ng message ilang height ang kailangan natin height 100 gusto kong maging align siya sa picture so adjust na lang natin 80 75 pwede so, ito yung ilalagay natin. Yung gagawin natin ngayon is we're just going to do an inline style. And ilalagay natin yung height dyan. And then, refresh natin. Yun, sagad siya dito. May space siya dito. So, I think I can also do the... Nakapading. Hmm. I need to implement as well yung box sizing. Yan. Para hindi ka. Tapos pumaba. Um, wait. What? Okay. Then, for the column 2, sana yung may red. Remove natin yung red, remove natin yung outline. Yan. May buhay na si Philippine Wine. Tuba, in other words. Then, yung footer, I think we can just copy yung nab design. Sana si nab. Let's go to nab. Ito. Let's just copy this one. Nilagay natin sa footer. Ito natin to. Dito, yung text natin will be 
um, I mean, yung color will be white. Nagi white. Yan, may white na siya. So if you want to, I want to put more padding. So, yung kulang pa natin is yung background. We need to put a background. So, sa body natin ilalagay yung background color. And sabi natin red. Ang hmm, ganda. Lula mata. So, kakapi tayo. Hindi na siya makita. Maghanap na yun ng mas dark. Sabihin natin ganun. Then, we're going to copy this code and put it at the top part sa body. And refresh. So yun, hindi naman siya ganun ka-perfect, pero nagawa natin yung layout niya, kahit pa paano ba. Just kunting adjustment when it comes to the, especially yung spacing dito, titingnan nyo. So let's try to fix this one, yung sa part ng column 1. Yung sa column 1, column 1, meron din siyang content. Pero, kaya mag-implement. So, yung content natin, meron siyang margin na 15. Maybe we can, all rows na merong content, is kailangan merong ganun, para hindi na natin ulit-ulitin. Once lang tayong mag-implement ng content, yung 15 margin. So, sabihin natin, dito na lang. So, lahat ng sa row na content should apply yung yung spacing. Yan, para mapapansin natin, yung alignment dito, dito, dito is magkakatulad na So, it matters kasi sometimes yung sa design. So, ganito. If we want to put a background image, guys, let's say we don't want na dark lang siya, we want to have a background image, then pwede tayong magharap ng images. Um, let's say, for example, we want to implement this one as our background image, this images. So, gagawin lang natin sa body, Punta tayo sa body, then background image, background, background image, URL. So, regarding sa pag-specify um, ng URL dito, currently, you need to know yung file nyo kung saan siya nakalagay. Currently, it was here, yung CSS natin, which is under the CSS folder. So, yung image na gusto nating um, makopya is under the image folder. Or images folder, other. So, first is, we need to go out muna the folder by specifying double dot. Then, since nandito na tayo sa folder, now we can access the images. After that, nasa loob na tayo ng images folder, then we just need to specify the file name. Let's try that one. So, yun. Pero kung mapapansin nyo pa, ulit, ulit, oh, 1, 2, 3, 4. What if you just want to display once? Nating background repeat. Asa na si background repeat? Then, no repeat. Isa lang. Pero what if you want yung full? Then, mayroon tayong sinasabing background size of cover. 
So what if naman gusto mo siyang hindi nag-scroll? Yung mag-scroll lang is yung website, hindi kasama yung background. So we can do that as background, 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 attachment, fix, refresh. And if we try to scroll up and down, then hindi siya nag-move. Yun lang yung page natin. Hey guys, so yun, that's how we, we can make a website using the float property, particularly sa layout niya.